Hey everybody, Chiron here, and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft. So, I like to think that I do things well. And one thing that I do well is be an incredible derp. For various reasons. And I've been known to call myself a derp, so... It's nothing new to me. It's fine. It happens. So remember, a while back... There was this thing that I said we'd really only need to come to the surface for surface for one particular reason. Well, that particular reason has become really important lately. It's actually something we haven't done in a while. We haven't used it in quite some time. But uh, it seems to be extremely important at this very second. And it just so happens to be this guy. <laughs> our research station. And if we go into our research station, we go into recipes and we scroll all the way down we get our orbital energy transmitter component I'm a derp <laughs> so I completely forgot all about our research station as you can possibly see we have lots of things that we can get uh, a missile fueler why not Empty missile assembler, <laughs> uh, conveyors, force induction. Um, not uh, not really a whole lot that we actually need. This thing used to clear out surface attacks. This is near an enemy base. Enemy base. Hmm. Maybe those bees actually come from somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, so we finally do, in fact, have the OET. Oh, uh, while we're here, anything else? Uh, Antimiter drill motor, I think, is kind of out of the scope of what we're going to be able to build. Strobe lights don't really need. Solar panels, electric lights, not entirely all that useful. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, we actually have a uh, manufacturing plant here, so let's look at what we've got holy crap uh, alright so we need about six thousand titanium plates six thousand nickel plates six thousand gold plates two thousand PCBs of all three of these varieties uh, we need, uh, what do we need? We need probably a refinery to start producing some plastic beads because we are going to need a ton of plastic beads to make fuel canisters and, well not fuel canisters, but we'll need to make um, all kinds of components for our turbines because apparently we need about 30 of them <laughs> as far as I can tell. So, uh, we are going to be working and gathering resources at an alarming rate. So what we need to do is we need to scale up our efforts. OET, Ultimate, Advanced, and Excel. I believe Excel is nickel. I just want to double check that. Uh, Excel is nickel. Uh, advanced is gold. And Ultimate is titanium. So, perfect. Basic missiles. What do we need for basic missiles? Um, I think we actually need uh, upgraded missiles of some sort. They need to be charged missiles, something along that range. Uh, charged PCBs, iron plate servo, those are easy to make, not too bad. Uh, where can we get the missiles though. Do we have the option of getting missiles quite yet? Empty missile assembler is pretty easy. Missile fueler is pretty easy. Um, automatically manufactures empty missiles. Okay, so this manufactures our missiles for us. Requires power, storage hoppers. Puts missiles to an attached hopper. But I'm guessing we're going to have to put some sort of a resource in. I'll put some missiles. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to have to put some sort of a resource in. It automatically fuels. The missiles requires power and attached storage hoppers. I'll put some missiles into a storage hopper. 
Okay, we... Yep, so we need a refinery. We need jet turbines. So we need tons of these. <laughs> oh my god, we need so many resources. So many resources. Oh man, I'm kind of worried. I am kind of worried. Alright, so is there anything in here that is going to help us out? I suppose getting tracks are probably going to be a good idea so that we can uh, load up mine carts and transport materials from longer range because uh, we need tons and tons of titanium, nickel, and gold. Alright. Thinking out loud here. <laughs> so let's head back down. Let's see what uh, what we've got going on. We've got 2,000, 3,000, and 95. <laughs> 95 nickel. Alright, so we need to increase our resource load considerably. Alright. Hmm. Uh, I think... Ah, uh, did we did we find any more resource deposits? I thought we had something over here. So when we were uh, destroying that hive, I think. All right, we have gold here. It's a super small amount. We'll ping known ore. See what we can find. Um, this is an okay deposit. Alright, so this is nickel. About half a million. That, that'll do pretty well. We can start a pretty decent sized nickel mine there. Uh, what else do we have available to us here? Let's see, there's a nickel vein. That's a hundred thousand. Alright, so we should have nickel covered. Oops. Uh, what am I doing here? A grappling hook. Alright. So I think what we will do is kind of mine this out a little bit. We have a nice flat surface here, which is awesome. These flat surfaces make for easy mining. So what I think I'm going to do is set up an area here where we can just smelt as much nickel as we possibly can. And then uh, we can kind of slowly work on getting more resources of gold and titanium as we have that ability. Let me turn off my light here. Serve a little bit of power. All right. Here we go. Oh, look at that nice big canvas. We can put all of the drills on it. Okay, where is my hole? So, I think I'm going to do a light right there so I can see where my hole is. Seeing your hole is a great idea. Uh, I need to fill that in so I don't have to keep <laughs> grappling over. Alright. Alright. Uh, we can actually borrow this guy right here. That will work out pretty good, I think, unless uh, unless we want to do kind of its own... Uh, oh, actually... Do we still have those in place? I think we do. Yep, we do. Awesome. So, we still have these in place. Uh... Because this is still an active mine, <laughs> I hope. 
Um, you know, this one got depleted. We've got some uh, camo bots. What you got here? 79,000. Holy crap. That one needs to be replaced as soon as possible as well. So what we can do is piggyback off of this guy. Um, honestly, if we find a titanium vein, uh, we can just replace that one because that one is going to die any minute now. And we can just... Yeah... We can keep going on here, and I can't actually see anything. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's right here. Absolutely the greatest thing that's ever existed. All right, so let's, uh, let's put a power storage block here. And then we'll put a laser transmitter and a laser transmitter. Point uh, you guys in the right directions. And there we go. Uh, you have a sapphire lens. We're going to need more lenses, but we do have a bunch of topaz and sugar light crystals. Alright, and you go here, which is good. We'll get this all set up and then we can kind of make it look prettier. Oh boy, how do we want to do this? Um... Honestly, I could use motors. That might be what I'm gonna do. Um, do we have room up here? We do, in fact. So let's uh, let's put that there. We'll put. Um, actually, we don't need that. It's really super close. Um, we can just put one of you, one of you, and then boom, 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 boom. Do a hopper, do a hopper. And then we come, uh, we don't need to do that, we can just come down like so. And that should do it. Alright, we have a second source of nickel. And then what I want to do while we're over here is we need a power takeoff so that we can get some smelters going. Um, but we'll need to put a lens in you. Can I reach you? I can lens in there. Increase our power transmission a little bit. And then let's uh let's get this working. So we should be able to have these guys going in a row here. So then that will feed the ore in, the ore will all share. Boom, like that. And then we'll put, let's see, do we have any smelterinos? Smelterinos, smelterinos. Uh, we have one. <laughs> right. So we'll need to make more of these guys. Uh, we can do that. And then we're going to have two more smelters there. We'll do... Uh, Hopper, hopper, hopper. We're gonna need some transport pipes to get these going pretty quick. And that should actually do it. So let's get these guys out of here. We need to bridge across. There we go. There we go. And then what I should be able to do is we can come below here. Put that down like so. We'll put a laser transmitter here, point it down. 
So that should keep these all powered up. Obviously we need to replace this with a better laser transmitter. Uh, get a lens in there, all that good stuff. This one we probably want to replace with that guy so we have a nice stable power source coming through. Uh, we could actually move these as well so the power source is in the middle and then there's like four smelters, two on each side of the main power block here. And I think that's actually going to do it for us. This one's already producing, so it's heating up, which is great. Fantastic. I'm actually fairly optimistic right now. Fairly optimistic. Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to make quite a bit of absolutely everything that's ever existed ever. Alright, so now our mission is to find some ye olde titanium. Uh, oh, we need to replace you. And... There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we do need a new source of titanium. That is going to be a thing that we need. Titanium. Last time I checked, I don't think we actually had any form of titanium in the area. Can I make a, can I make a titanium ore ping? Let's see. Ore ping, titanium. I do have a couple ore pings left. All right. Titanium ore ping. Please be something over here. What in the world? I think it, uh... Huh, <laughs> that's weird. I actually found the resin for some odd reason. Alright, so we have a decent deposit over there. We've got a couple small deposits there. Um, I think... Um, oh, that is the deposit that we're using. Fantastic. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, man. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, is there any kind of deposit over here that's going to be worth it? Uh, actually, these might be. Hmm. Where are you? Titanium. 200,000. That goes up there. Uh, if we take a look at... This guy down here. Um, you are also 200,000. All right, so we have two deposits in this tiny little area that are that add up to about half a million, which is not bad. And we have a little more over here. There's a camo bot there, which is probably going to kill me if I stand here. <laughs> so we have more nickel over here, which is good. It's a small deposit, though. Let me take this guy out. I'm so glad they gave a laser sight on this thing. That was the derpiest thing ever that they didn't do that. Oh, what are you? What are you? 148,000, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, see a little titanium over there. That's the 200,000 vein. So we could actually just build a platform here. And I'm out of power. Fantastic. <laughs> oh no, where am I? I may die of hypothermia. Alright, we'll uh, cozy up to this guy at about 21 degrees. Uh, where are we here? I think I need, I need to go up. I think I fell at one point. Yeah. 
I hear a camo bot sneaking up on me, the little bugger, and I can't actually shoot it because I have no power. Awesome, that's exactly what I like. All right, so we need to make a mad dash before we run out of good old fashioned power here. Perfect, um, I can actually pull a little bit of power off of here and get recharged. So let's get Arthur charged up again. I actually took his thingy down. So I can put you in place. Alright. And you are running. But you're not producing power because I took down your laser transmitter. Awesome. Fantastic. Alright, let's draw a little bit of power here. And what do we need? We need some smelters. And we need some induction fans. Um, so these actually require the original induction fans. And then... So let's make a couple of these. Let's make some ore smelters. Oh man, they're so low on nickel. It's not even funny. And somebody did point out in the comments as well, the uh, Mark V battery component is the Mark IV battery component. Um, I thought about it right after ending that last episode that that's probably the case, but um, somebody did confirm it. So we just need to make one of these Mark IV battery components to get the material for the Mark V component. But we don't even have close to enough resources to be able to do that. All right. We need absurd amounts of everything. So, Arthur's getting charged up. Let's uh, empty these guys out. Gonna start with the tin so those can start going. Alright, what are we low on here? Our gold is not coming through very quickly. Uh, why would that be? We're backed up here. Uh, these don't have induction fans on them. So let's put some induction fans on them while we're at it. Get those sped up a little bit. And then, uh,. Just want to make sure these still have drill heads in them. They do. What are they doing? 6,000 left. They got plenty of room. Alright. Alright, so we've got a source of gold. We've got a source of nickel and a source of titanium. So those are the three main resources that we need at this very second. Uh, I did make some ore smelters, right? Um, if I could actually find them. Did I not make ore smelters? I may not have. Uh, what do we got here? Let me make two more of those. Uh, ore smelter I do have. Ore extractor. We'll make a bunch more of those. Steel cutter heads. We need some low grade iron, which we need more nickel. Because <laughs> why wouldn't we? Oh boy. Uh, we'll just make. Why can't I make more of these? Oops. Did not intend to do that. Oh, they need a they need a slot a piece. Okay. Let's see. We have some enhanced drill motors. Some crystal biomass. Oh, I. I don't want biomass on me, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, lightweight PCBs, those will come in handy. Um, chilled cavern stone, 1200 of those. Hmm, I think we need, uh, jeez, we need everything. <laughs> we need just all of the things, don't we? Uh, this will actually come in handy, we'll use that. 
we'll put away uh, leaves. We'll put away uh, yeah, this thing of bobber. Um, that should do for now. We'll uh, we'll go through what we have, and we'll make do. All right. So we'll uh, go ahead and get our smelters in here. These guys are probably going to run out of power, which is the problem. But uh, we'll jump that hurdle when it comes to it. E Eesh. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. I think I will probably have to put one of these guys on the other side. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that right away. All right, put you there. Put you there. Get our light back in here. Hopper. And there we go. Uh, actually, I do. Boom. All right. So those should hopefully stay powered up now. Um, Cause they're all drawing off this block instead of kind of having that daisy chain all the way down. All right. So uh, I should have a one of these dudes. So I'll put you down here. Oops. Put you down, and then put down a couple hoppers. And uh, we'll use that for collecting resources for now until I can get everything pushed all the way over. Uh, right now I just want them to be producing as quickly as actually possible. Uh, steel cutter head, steel cutter head. Oh, did I only bring three steel cutter heads? I bet I did. Yep. I only brought three. Alright, let's head back on over. Make a last cutter head. Let's see, steel cutter head. We'll just make a bunch of them. Because we are going to need them. Get this guy in. There we go. In place. All right. That one's gold. That was that really small deposit, though. Twelve thousand's not gonna last us long at all. Take one last scan around here. See if there's any easily accessible resources. Um, where are you? Titanium. 300,000. Alright, so I think that is going to be our titanium deposit that we're going to use uh, for now. I know we have uh, the two other deposits over there next to the gold, but we need just so much titanium that I think we're going to put mines in both locations. <laughs> so, yeah. But I think I'm going to mine that out off camera just because it's uh, going to be a little bit time consuming. And then I'll just get kind of this similar setup going on down there. And then next episode, we can work on making our way over to those deposits over in that direction. And I think that's uh, pretty much going to call it. Kind of kind of going fast and furious here with the <laughs> resource gathering. It's because, like I said, we need, we need like 8,000 of each resource for one machine one machine <laughs> so uh, and I think we're gonna have to do some drill motors and we're just gonna have to bust out as much eh, 
Do we, do we want? No, we don't want to do that because we don't have a whole lot of sugar like crystals. We don't have. We could probably do a couple organic. Uh, wears out quickly. And mm. eh, we don't really want to do a wears out quickly. Uh, I think I'm going to head to the surface and see what other drills we have. Um, see if there's anything better. This one uh, wears out slowly. So this is 10,000 that it can mine. Um, these, I think, are only like 2,000, and then if you divide that by 4, yeah, they don't, uh, they don't give you a whole lot. And they're pretty darn expensive, so I don't think we're going to go with any of those, but I'm going to head to the surface and see what other drill heads we can get. But uh, as far as this video is concerned, that is actually going to do it. <laughs> Like I said, I am definitely a derp. Feel free to call me one in the comments of this video or the one previous. I uh, apologize. <laughs> There's not a whole lot I can do about it, though. I am who I am. So, yeah. So, if there's anything else that I missed or I'm a complete, absolute noob on, please feel free to let me know. Definitely, definitely appreciate all of the comments that I get for this. Um, like I said, I don't look up any information if I can at all help it so I really rely on comments to let me know when I'm uh, not doing something that I should be doing so yeah that's going to do it for this episode I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time